shutting it down is a very drastic measure. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo on Sunday blasted the idea of a mandatory quarantine on New York and other states that President Donald Trump floated the day before, but later walked back in a tweet just hours later. Trump dropped the idea, saying he would instead ask the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to issue a strong travel advisory to New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut that would be administered by those states' governors and that a quarantine will not be necessary. The CDC later warned residents of those states against non-essential domestic travel for 14 days. You're fighting the virus and you're fighting the fear. I can't tell you how many people called all night long about the mandatory quarantine comment that the president made as he was getting into a helicopter. People are so on edge, uh, I mean, it really panicked people. They were going to leave the city last night. It was really. So you need to manage that fear and the panic, and you also need to uh, deal with the virus. Cuomo said that in the past day alone, the state had over 7,000 cases, bringing the new total to next to 60,000, and that the total death count was close to 1,000 fatalities. Healthcare workers on the front lines are appealing for more protective gear and equipment as they face a surge of patients. Doctors are concerned about a shortage of ventilators and hospitals could face a shortage of drugs, oxygen tanks, and trained staff. Nationally, there are over 130,000 confirmed cases and more than 2,400 fatalities.